welcome back to control uh, well how to should I explain I've changed my I bought myself a new SSD drive drive I can just like this and oh can I no but I have a feeling that it will be this will be one of the spans that needs someone to talk to and so yeah bought a new SSD drive and had to test it the third thing the sound made darker the darkness made louder Hartman was stretched like a worm through time the third thing was a monster now we crashed out of darkness toward fate and I wanted to see what are some options can be changed well, it will say like the way it is for now. The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. The third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched. As anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Well, the report from the ordinary says different. Wait, Pratt, all those. Yeah, it might be because I had to change the the dictionary place where I kept all Steam games. Oh, hello. Reminder. All employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you. to check something but it seems that everything's okay <sighs> really appreciate this place more if it was a little bit more lit up what's that following the nasa fbc coordination agreement of 1972 the bureau has provided Na uh, NASA NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all space-faring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accurate, accurate by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA, NASA, NASA's <laughs> recent launch of the blank far outweighs, outweighs any spending related to the processing of, and delivering of black rock. From its medium Earth orbit, the blank will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and pro photographing AWE site. A resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Yes, I know I'm butchering 
the name. I don't know, sometimes the Polaris is so creepy. About everything, to be honest. Let's see, maybe we can write the, uh, the space up a bit with this. That was somewhere. Okay, no, it didn't help. What's up? A train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of poor criminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. The Bureau has had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. And can I... Okay, I can do just like this. And it seems that I was supposed to do that. And I was just I was just about to say thank you. But I think we are safe here. <laughs> yep. Paranormal entity A-101 aka the shadow is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Type E. Localized manifestations of sentient blank capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blank over its surroundings. Type B. Shaded individuals. Human bodies blank by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is re reversible. Type C. Shaded objects similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive to tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals which may imply a short link to a blank intelligence. The threat this entity possesses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lightning sources, some internally provided powered to prepare for the eventuality of a blank. Yeah, I am safe here, so let's listen My to this. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented. Incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors knowledge. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite a challenge. Well, 
Perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. It's good to know that they have cooled down on those grenades. It's very good to know. Oh no 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 allowed to do that. This ranger airborne. Okay. And as I can see we have three cases to work on right now. Let's see. A black market hub speciali specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics and other assorted ceremonial objects as well as the genuine altered and paranormal materials was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranormal materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. There is a growing underground market for paranormal materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the items' paranormal powers, and their attempt, attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. The motivation of these collectors are largely unknown. Anything else? No, as I can, as far as I can see. Kirkland, do you, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate those scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life and I've heard some fucking stupid shit things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more, and they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rise and you need to to let me back in that interrogation cell, cell so I can get him to flip on his bodies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be f treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension, see if that slows me down. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's, this is what I saw. What I saw. Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance and even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how, exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've, I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think... Wait, shh. There's something... I gotta get this. I gotta get the cable out. 
Come on, you fiber optic fuck, cooperate. Okay, there we go. This time, or I swear to God, I'm... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... It's not ended yet. It's not the end. At least I think this is not the end. Well, this is still moving. You don't hear. Could stop, which means it's still going. This is still part of this audio lock, I think. I'm still sure that this is media a this one. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented. Ah, oh, I complete. This okay. No. Agent Fisher. Oh, okay. So this is it's done. They are full of mold shit. It's no good for you. Headache, nausea, mold, depression. How can you tell when you are afraid? Okay. Plants in here have died. I told you that. Okay, we'll go back and talk to that one plant. Lighten them up. Okay. Ah, more plants. And we saw one. All right, let's go make some new friends. Yeah, we will go. Since I still remember where that one plan is, uh, I have to get to it. Please leave that chair, thank you. And um, yeah, we can go back. Cool, 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 cool. I hope it's here. Yeah, no. Oh. It's eradicate the mold, but where's this one? Eliminate shine light. Shine light. Okay, I'm sure that this is the the plant. Just where the hell can get some? Come over here. I need you. Well, the plant is standing in the light, so... There you go. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, so... Since we already have you with us... We'll take it. So why not? Maybe we'll find something... Interesting. Maybe there's another one in here. It, it's in the operation investigations operations corridor. Maybe. Okay, let's drop this. Let's check the bathroom. Oh, nice. We have vigorous dodge efficiency. Wait, what's that? What that does? It's 
one? Evade cost on element. Huh? What? Evade, evade cost on element pickup. Evade cost on. Yeah, I, I honestly don't understand how is that supposed to work. Just. No. No, 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 no. Evade cost. Okay, it's 20% chance. No. No, I don't understand it. I won't pretend that I do because I don't. Oh, that's another control point. Nice. They are very close to each other in this place. This is our third one already. Uh, I don't feel right. Okay, well... Something in this darkness is draining me. Okay, um... Take this. It helps. Oh, it drains your power. Okay, so we need one, two, at least two batteries. And there seems to be none. Zero over here, so it's got. Take this with you! Well, it should work. Shit. Now what? What is that? Whoa. Come on, elevator, time to go! What the fuck? It's still there. Wait, give me a second, I need to change the mission. Um Okay. Place over there, put those. There's lots of them. I think I saw something over there. No, okay, let's follow the light. Just follow the light. Why? Okay. Yes, we are safe. We will go back down there. Actually, you know what? Let's go back. Ah! Why? I think this is the one. This screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by, by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Night Springs spec scripts. Episode over the threshold darkly. Post. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens after those forces are not ours to claim? Or even of this world. What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads The F Federal Bureau of Night Springs. I've told you several times, Director, this it isn't ready. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I will go back down because I can take three of those and I forgot about that. And I wanna read this. 
Non known testing uh, containment procedure, non known testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine, it's front covered in a full wood panel, the coin operated buttons for selling food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows and internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news, uh, news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purpose purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise residents' spirits. The Bureau response team, response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. I can see you there. Okay, you are teleporting. Um. For a second there, I thought this was the vending machine. And I am glad I have this upgrade right now. Okay, I'm going with Tango and they will just follow us. Okay, some of the of some of them will. Okay, oh. Okay, only two followed. Oh, this one. No! No, you don't. First light. There's nothing to read. I think it's somewhere over there. Good, 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 good. This, that this will turn on the lights. Okay, then you're ugly. Dr. Emil Hartmann is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in Blank, WA4, focused on, tr on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publici publicly, Dr. Hartmann's treatment center seemed unremarkable unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class 2 paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic mediums, see file blank. Investigation has proven that, that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated and released blank months later. Having been deemed a negligible threat, threat his medical license has been permanently revoked. His work. Is that the, the hard man? Yeah, how do you like that? Ooh, oh, oh, I see. I see it. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. I love how wonky it is and how I can't Hmm. It won't work. Why it doesn't work? Oh, thank you. 
an excur excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral shaped marking, designation door blank. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian and blank, contacted agents Shah and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wegg being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For f a full transcript, refer to file blank. On blank 2017, the excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later the same day. Determining, determining the, whether the, this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35, is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken to Motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. And, oh, how did you listen? Thank you. Years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hammond. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night, with a, you know, a K, not an N, not... Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Ooh. Okay, that is interesting. So I guess now the elevator will work and I, t I am taking this light. This torch, this little thing right here is going with me. What are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. I use this one. Okay, but we we'll, we will use but we will do it tomorrow or the day after. Anyway, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.